Good morning. It's September 16th, 2015, Wednesday. It's going to be another busy day. We have to go check the snare and set some more and do some other things. See you soon. I've got biscuits baking in the oven. I uh, made those from scratch with well, my mix that I make up myself. But now I have to clean up the messy kitchen. I think I can get it done maybe in 20 minutes by the time the biscuits are done. you got to freeze those peppers. Well, the biscuits are done. I got the tops and Larry's got the bottoms because he likes them browned more. And the dishes are washed and draining. On schedule. Broke the rope. Broke the rope. Oh, broke the rope, whatever we had caught. Oh, well. It broke. I knew it was going. Well, must have been pretty strong then because those don't usually break very easy. Well, that's an older rope. But he's out there somewhere. Right there is the tracks where they crossed the dike. Yeah, is, is your is your snare gone too? It took the snare. Took the snare and everything. Yeah, starting over, get another snare. Stronger rope. I don't know about stronger, different rope. Different rope. <laughs> You might have ripped it off through here. You know, if you pulled on that tight enough. Oh, you're, you're, he took the stick too, didn't he? The one across. Yeah, the one we had to search forever for. That one down there. That's why you go find a stick. Or you can cut. Don't know if you hear that, but they're tying the snare up the right height for the alligator to go through. Then they use the thread to hold the snare in place. Tighten it up now. Then we gotta move the strap out the way and tie this open. Right? Yeah. I'll put the strap to the side or put it up here like this. Yeah, so don't they don't hit the strap when it hits the trap. So weather was warmer, we'd be able to see the alligators out there in the in the water. But since it's cool, they're not up. Because some of these fields, you can just see hundreds of alligators. Larry told me yesterday was, was using pink thread because it's going to get a female alligator with pink. That's for Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, that's true too. <laughs> okay, that's one. There it is. There's all set for another catch another gator. I'm back up in the back of the truck. Got a better view of the palms or the fields. These aren't current rice fields, they're old rice fields. They don't grow rice anymore. We're driving down the middle of the dike. You're out running them. No. It's easy to get lost out in here with all these different roads going all directions and everything looks the same. They're like to be quail. Oh, there's an alligator. Right there in the water. There's another one. Oh, there's two. You see just those little, their eyes and their nose sticking up out of the water. Yeah, I see it. There's an alligator. They're pink ibis. Oh, they're pink ibis. The birds are pink ibis. The white ones are the wood storks. The white ones are wood storks. See alligators all up through the, up through there. I probably can't see them, but just little black specks with further eyes and nose around. I guess the ibis are busy eating. Oh, there's a there's a well, there's an alligator right there. He's coming toward us. That alligator just went under. Come here. 
Yeah, I'm coming. You want to come, come down and get this footprint? Well, I don't. Where'd the alligator go? Oh, come on. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> I don't know if I can get down this with my foot. Oh, that's right. You stay up there. Let me take a picture of it. Okay. Do you, want, you want to zoom in? Can you yeah, zoom it? See the foot track? Oh, I can zoom the wrong way. Can you see how big right it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Now I see it. Wow, that's a big one. That's the kind we're after. Seven foot right there. That's not. Yeah. I'm thinking if we come down here one day with the pole, we could hook them with the pole. Yeah. And then we get them close, and we don't want them, we let them go. Oh, you'd have to be out in the boat. No, you no. can throw. You can throw the reel that far. Oh, a reel. Okay. Yeah, with the fish, with the reel, and you can mm -hmm. throw it and have to hook that. I don't know. They're sliding here anyway. Look here, where they've been going down through there. All, all, all of these places here. There's another one came up down here. This other rope, this anchor rope you got instead of the strap? Yeah. Oh, you think the straps are alright? Pink Ivis has moved out further away. You want to try this instead of that other stuff? Or if you get it through that thing there, just throw this one here. We'll try it. I'm going to worry about two or four right now, but I'll just put it there. This one looks like it's got the biggest tail dragon. <laughs> That's because it's the biggest drop off, and the, tack, the tail was dragging close to the body. Oh. You know, now he's looking for tracks where he came out of the water. You know, which place to put the. It's got to be one of them other ones there. Fiddler crab. I think we better sit on the other side because we know he's going there. See, he could be changing his path. Oh, there's only one path over here, and there's one, two, three, or four over here. Right. I think we're going to sit in here. Okay, right, right there? Yeah, right there. Tired, it's your turn. <laughs> well, I go get the axe. The axe is better. You want, you want... He's watching us. Well, we're the only, only entertainment around here at the moment. <laughs> or maybe he's thinking, I want a leg or an arm. <laughs> I got I got a hunting knife and a pistol talking out of it. That's a monster print though, isn't it? That sure is. I'd like to catch him. That might be the one that um a couple years ago when we caught one it took a two by four. Yeah. Two by four floating out there, we had to go get it. <laughs> we still on it though. In the mud, it's can much easier. Can. Putting the rope down close to the ground so he don't pull it right. off. He'll be walking on high ground so his head will be up a little bit. Right? Like that? That's pretty good to me. Now I need to tie this to here, right? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. You with that? Yeah, if it'll stay there. It's so windy. We'll see. Wood storks? It's pretty up that way. Channel no. That grass out there is called needle rush. The green. That tall grass over there along the water is called cord grass. A little wide. Okay. I think it's a bunch of small ones. On the road again. Time for me to duck. I see. I'm down. Yeah, let's go down a little further. We can go down further. What? Focus in on that gator over there. Oh, I see it.
think I got him. We're uh, checking for where that big gator crosses. We'll set one right here. I just need one to turn a little bit go that way. But they, they're definitely going through this way. Yeah. Dang, it was a thing jump high. You seen that? Yeah. Whoa, that one jumped. Good crap, man. Ted loves to eat mullet. Mm. You catch those with a cast net, don't you? Yeah. I put that one down pretty good. Yeah. It's a big one. What do we do if we ever get one in every trap in the morning? <laughs> you have to come help skin. Oh no. Why? You gotta have a plan B. That's that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we won't have keepers on every trap. I'm with you. I don't wanna be standing on him while I'm trying no. to grab the rope. I can smell that gator. You can smell him? Stays open, you want it wide. Right. I'm still tying the string in the thread. Is it done? Yeah. Just making sure everything looks good and tight. Trying to make it look natural. Mm hmm. Natural as a piece of metal wire hanging in the woods can look. <laughs> this is eight of the. Uh, Ten tags that Larry got from the government to, for his gators. Has to put them on the tail when he catches them and then make out a report. pot according to Larry who is my expert on all things outdoors. This is so close up of the crab pot. He's got it tied. Here's John Boats. Two of them. I think they belong to the plantation. It says there's a $5,000 fine for selling baby alligators. You see another little one? You see it? No. Oh, you want to look at little ones? Come here. Walk up real slow and easy. Can you oh, see, I see it? I see it. Mm -hmm. There's another one to the left underneath there. There's three or four of them. The mother's in there. The mother's in here? Yeah. See them bubbles over there? That's probably where she's at. Okay, I'm going. But look, can you you can get closer. Well, I, I can zoom in. I don't have to get closer. Sitting out there in the middle. One in the middle. You can see where she's laying out on there. Okay, this is the mama alligator. To the ones that, uh, to the babies we were looking at. Here I am back at Walmart. Larry's working on a project with Ronald, so I'm here by myself. It's nine o'clock and past time to end the vlog. Um, had a quiet afternoon. We went to church this evening for a Wednesday night service. It was this coming Sunday is a Janie Chapman collection, and so. We found out tonight where all the money goes that's collected, all the different uh, people that are helped, just students and just all kinds of people all over the state. So it's really worthwhile. Good night. God bless.